segue. This is Stu Wexler inside New York. And we're here with one of the great men of our city, Oleg Cassini. And we're having lunch at one of New York's favorite luncheon spots, the Bistro at Trump Tower. You can see the beautiful food we, uh, we have here. And if you want to go to a place to see people and have wonderful food, I recommend the Bistro at Trump Tower to you. Uh, and I am honored to introduce the uh, next guest on Inside New York. You know, uh, Ola, you, you boarded and bedded some of the world's most beautiful women. And uh, Jean Tierney, of course, you're married to Grace Kelly, engaged to Marilyn Monroe, you designed clothes for Jacqueline Kennedy, you made her whole look. I wish you would share with us some of the some of the things that you learned through that that the audience would be interested. For example, what was Marilyn Monroe like in, in your view? Well, I knew Marilyn Monroe not a, before she was a star. When she, when she was a starlet. A starlet in Hollywood meant nothing. It, uh, it had no meaning, it had no power, it nothing. She would go make the rounds every day. And every day we'd come to my bathroom to say hello and speak. She was a starlet, which was less than anything, a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Then she became a star by a fortuitous reason. And then she was a big, big, powerful star. And she is still a powerful star. She represented the eternal feminine, as I see it. She had that sort of cute, wicked, sex, sexy uh, approach to life. You always thought that you might make it with her. But then it wasn't that easy, so it, there was mu much more to the game. Very great girl, I thought. Um, I've never met him because Jackie Kennedy I was a designer and a friend, and a friend of her husband. So my role was totally different there. And my wife, of course, Jean Tierney, I still think she was the most beautiful girl that had ever been in pictures. And Grace Kelly, I was engaged to, and of course, I lived in the great days of motion pictures, and then the great days after the motion pictures, studios. So I had the opportunity to be the only marvelous looking females in a restricted space where practically no competition, because actors are very rarely competition. Why? And they may be attractive, intelligent, and all that, but they are narcissistic by nature. So that. I've never been afraid of an act in my life in competition with a woman. I believe that the most important thing in the seduction process is to try to understand a woman. And uh, that means that I'm more interested in them, much more interested in them than they are, than uh, vice versa. So unless you show to a woman that you're interested, and I'm sure you know that by your own experience, unless you really listen to her, into an inner voice, you're just another guy flexing his muscles. That's part of the secret of your success in design, isn't it? Listening to what the woman well, wants yes. to be like. First of all, they're anatomical, anatomical taboos. There are certain things you cannot do uh, if you want to uh, dress women intelligently and sexually uh, that, that suits them. So, my opinion is that you have to be very careful not to alter the anatomy of a woman in order to satisfy your ego as a design. My opinion is that unless you study the woman anatomically and the inner voice of what she wants to be, you cannot be a good designer for her. How did you find Grace Kelly? I, from some of the things I've read about her and about your views, there were, there were different sides to her. I think the public saw only one side, the elegant, cold, cool beauty. And I remember one story about her with glasses coming in. You gave her some advice about her glasses, I think. Yes, I well, she was a professional and wanted to give the impression of being just a very serious profession. On the other hand, I tried to influence her that she could be also super glamorous and still be professional. So there was a debate between us during our relationship what was the best? And I think she came to, to, to realize that in pictures like uh, Catch a Thief and, and others uh, where she wore clothes and elegantly, that that glamorous part 
was part of a, a potential for starving. And of course I had every interest to, to do that because my job is a designer should be more than a than a man that puts clothes on a woman. Should be an advisor, should study uh, what she needs and what the script really calls for. I had a wonderful experience with actresses and the Grace was the, one of the greatest of all. We were engaged of course and the bonds were very strong. As I understand